congratulations! You've assembled your growth pie and you can connect to it and you're ready for your first scratch program. First programs are usually about turning an LED on and off. If your LED isn't assembled, here's how to do it. On the sensor, you'll notice a circle around the pins where the LED should go. One side of the circle is flat and if you look closely at the LED, one side of the bottom part of it is also flat. You can roll the LED to see it better. Match the flat sections together and the LED sensor is ready for use. We also need to connect the LED to the growth pie. I've selected port D2. The connection can only go in one way, you can't go wrong. Now let's get scratching! You can double click on the scratch cat or right click and choose open. Ok, we now have two windows. The black one in the back is called the scratch controller and that's where the magic happens. Don't close that window. The white one in front gives you a few options. Choose the robot you want, in our case the growth pie, and start programming. Do confirm that we're ok with saving our work, we haven't done any yet. Click on that little window. It indicates that Scratch is ready to talk to the growth pie. Let me move Scratch to the side so I can see my Scratch controller window and click anywhere in Scratch to bring it back to the front. You can see in that little corner here that the growth pie is also ready to start talking to Scratch, so we're ready too. To control the growth pie, I have to go into a control section and grab a broadcast block. Drag it into the script area. Then I'll go to the Operator section and grab a Join block. Drop the Join block into the broadcast one. The LED requires three strengths and the Join block only offers two. So I'll drop a second Join block. Now I need to fill in the strengths. The first one will be LED, the type of the sensor. The second one is the port, in our case, two. And the third one is the state of the LED, so ON in lowercase. Clicking on this block will turn the LED on. Hooray! We got it! Now, to turn it off, I just need to change the ON to OFF and click on the block again. But I don't really want to change my block all the time, so I'll duplicate this one by right-clicking on it, drop it and change it off back to on in one of the blocks. Now I can click each block in turn and get a blink. Oh cool! Again, I want more than that. Let's go to control and drag a forever loop. Put the on block inside. Let's grab a wait block and drop it just after the on block. Change the 1 second to 1 tenth of a second. Bring the off block up and add another weight block after it. Change that second weight block to 1 tenth of a second too. When I click this sequence of blocks, I have a true blink! Congratulations on your first scratch program! 